Hello students, I'm Vincent Fernandez, your math teacher from Sri Sarvagna Public School. Today, we are going for the multiplication of decimal numbers. So there are three different parts to this. Normally, when two decimal numbers are multiplied together, what will happen? So let us consider it as a example number one. Multiplying 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 so two simple numbers are taken 0.3 and 0.4 so when you multiply this the solution for this question can be derived like this in two different ways so let us consider 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 when we do this it will be equal to 3 divided by 10 as in the place values multiplied by 4 divided by 10 as uh, the decimal place is in the tenth place 4 is in the tenth place and 3 is in the tenth place so therefore 3 out of 10 4 out of 10 when you multiply these together we get uh, 3 into 4 divided by 10 into 10 is 100 so which is equal to 12 by 100 so once we have achieved this, the number of zeros will decide where the point is going to be. So this is going to become two places after two places from the right side towards the left side. You have to leave two places and then put the point. So it becomes a point one two. So if that this place is left vacant, we can put it as a, a zero. So this is one way of doing it. So the same thing can be achieved by another method. So 0 0.3 and it is multiplied by 0 0.4. Multiply it in the normal way. 4, 3, it is 12. 0, 3, when you multiply it, we get like this. So what will you get here? 2, 1, and 0. So where should I put the point now? So after one digit, the point is there. Here also after one digit, the point is present. So we can take a two digits because here one, here one. So totally two. After two digits, put the point. So the answer is a same, 0 0.12. So this is the second method. So we can use both these methods to solve simple problems like this. Let us take uh, another example in which we will take uh, bigger numbers. So example number two. Supposing that is 2.37 and is multiplied by 3.4. So these are numbers which are bigger numbers, isn't it? So let us uh, try to solve this. Solution is this. So... Uh, 2.37 multiplied by 3.4 is equal to 237 divided by 100 because the decimal places there are two decimal places so therefore it is should be divided by 100 right so 3 is in the tenth place 7 is in the hundredths place that's why the whole number is uh, without the decimal number point we are putting uh, below 100 multiplied by 3.4 can be written as 34 by 10. So this is equal to 237 multiplied by 34, the whole thing divided by 100 into 10. 100 into 10 is 1000. Now all you have to do is multiply these two numbers in above and after three places, the product, whatever you've got the product here, after three places from the right side towards the left side, put the point. So what will I get when I multiply 237 by 34? So let us uh, do this here. So 237 multiplied by, that is 237 multiplied by 34. So 4 sevenths is 28. To carry, 4 threes is uh, 12, 12 plus 2 is 14, one is carried, 4 2 is 8 and 8 plus 1 is 9, 
plus 3 7 times is 21 to carry 3 3 is 9 plus 2 11 1 carry 3 twice is 6 plus 1 is 7 add it 8 5 10 1 carry here 8 so I am going to get 8058 when I multiply this so 8058 divided by 1000 so where should I put the point now there are three zeros so after one two three points should be in between eight and zero so eight point zero five eight so this is how you multiply bigger numbers so I hope you have understood how to multiply with the numbers decimal number to decimal number. Thank you students.